brisket. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're grilling up some pork, sausage, stuffed chicken breasts at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, for this recipe, you're going to need some skinless, boneless chicken breasts. You've seen these before. These are good-sized ones, about a half pound each. All right, and you're going to need an onion. You're going to need some butter. Here we have some parboiled potatoes. They're already boiled, nice and soft. We're going to slice them up, all right? You're going to need some seasoning. We're using our SPG. You're going to need some olive oil. And here's the magic. You're going to need some breakfast sausages. You've seen these before, right? They're pre-cooked. All you have to do is warm them up a bit. And that's important for this recipe. And that's what they look like. And these here are still frozen. You want to start with them frozen. All right. We'll just slice up some potatoes. You know all about slicing potatoes, right? And we're gonna do this in one pan. The whole recipe will be done in this cast iron pan, right? So, we'll just take these sliced potatoes and we'll throw them in the pan first. A Little bit of olive oil on the bottom. All right, that keeps them from uh, burning. And we'll get them in there. Now, if you've never had a pork sausage stuffed chicken breast by the Barbecue Pit Boys before, you definitely got to check it out. It's some good eating at the pit. All right, you're going to need some onions. So we're going to take about a half an onion or so, and we'll chop it up pretty fine, throw it into the pan. Now, as most of you know, chicken breast especially boneless, boneless chicken breast is not easy to do. It's often uh, very dry when you cook it. You really can't uh, grill it at all, right? Because it just gets hard. Shh. That's because there's no fat. There's no moisture in these chicken breasts. They're a beautiful piece of meat, but you got to cook them right to get them at least moist with plenty of flavor. Now to the dish on top, we're going to add about a half a stick of butter, about four tablespoons or so, right? And you need the butter. Adds a lot of flavor to this. All right. Simple enough. Again, one pan dish, real easy to do. All right. Now, let's, uh, let's show you how we're going to prep these uh, chicken breasts. Now, as I was just saying, these chicken breasts are beautiful. But the reason they're inexpensive is because uh, they're kind of bland. They're not exciting. They're certainly not like a chicken wing, right? So in order to get them real moist, tender, and full of flavor, right, we're gonna use this method. We're gonna pork these chicken breasts. So we'll uh, cut a little hole with a thin blade knife, just like that, and insert one of these frozen breakfast sausages right in there, just like that. Now you leave them frozen so they'll insert nice and easy. Simple enough. Again, just uh, slice a hole with a knife. And take that frozen breakfast sausage. Oh yeah, get it right in there. Now these uh, breakfast sausages are often seasoned with sage, thyme, rosemary, some other seasonings. There's your flavor for this chicken breast you need. Again, cut a hole and stuff that sausage right in there. Oh. Now, like I said, this chicken breast is probably about a half a pound, more or less, and it'll actually feed up to two people. There's a lot of meat right there. All right, that's essentially what it looks like, stuffed. Now, just in case you fell asleep, let's do another one. Cut that hole. Grab some uh, breakfast sausage, insert. <laughs> this is easy to do, right? And I'm telling you, you better make a bunch of these. Um, they go great as leftovers as well. And insert, all right, enough of that. Perfect. Now, what we're gonna do here is just add a little oil both sides of the chicken breast. This will help with uh, the seasoning we'll add on to it. Now use your favorite uh, chicken seasoning here. We're just using our SPG. 
lot of salt, pepper, garlic. You want to use a lot of flavor on a chicken breast. All right. All right. Good enough. Now, we're going to lay them on this bed of potatoes in this cast iron pan. And we're doing that so we don't bring too much heat to the bottom side of this chicken breast. We don't want to draw any more moisture out of it. Now, today we're using our pellet grill. And you could use your favorite grill. You can even do this in the oven in the house. Whatever. And this won't take long to do. All right, we're about halfway through this. It might take um, 45 minutes. You want to cook them to about 165 degrees internal. Even though the sausages are fully cooked, you don't have to worry about uncooked meat inside. We're just essentially warming up those sausages. <laughs> All right, so. But uh, to do some even cooking here, we'll move the potatoes around a little bit. We'll flip them just like that. And we we'll take that uh, chicken breast and flip it again for some even cooking. Oh, man. Can you smell that? It smells good. And if you can't, you're on the wrong damn channel. I'll tell you what, you can smell those onions in there and the butter. Seasoning. Again, we'll flip it. We're cooking it fairly slow, right? We're running a temperature of about 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Ambient. Don't cook them fast and hard. That'll just dry them out. All right, a little bit to go. All right. These pork sausage stuffed chicken breasts are done. All we're going to do now is add some cheese. We'll melt uh, some uh, Swiss cheese here. Use your favorite cheese. You can use a provolone. You can use uh, an American, like a milk cheese. Whatever. And we'll, uh, we'll melt this cheese down. It'll only take a minute or two. All right. And through the miracle of time, these pork sausage stuffed chicken breasts are done. <laughs> take a look at that. kidding me now there's nothing left to do now but uh, plate these up we're gonna be eating good tonight Martha give us a call we haven't seen you in a while You're talking moist, tender, full of flavor. You can't do any better with a chicken breast. Now, we'll take some of them uh, butter broiled potatoes right there. And of course, as always, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but we call this Pitmaster Privilege. Now, oh, and just in case, you want to take a look inside. Whoa, take a look at that. You can see all that moisture inside that breast all around them breakfast sausages. So the next time you're looking for a good recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.